Do you ever have this like deep moment to yourself where you think that there's parts of the world that have never seen human life or humans haven't seen those parts of the world, like land? No, no, no. I think land we've we, we, we've, we've discovered seen, most of You it, think right, all we've of been it. absolutely everywhere? Except for the Amazon rainforest. I don't think that's the case, bro. I think there's places that we just not got to. What, like, where? where? There, was, uh, there was this guy, I think he's called Forrest Gallant, and he talks about there's a spot in South America where these giant, um, oh, what's, this is basically this animal that people think is a mythical creature, but it, it does exist. But they are in such a difficult Chupacabra. position. What's that? Is it called Chupacabra? Do you remember that? No, what's that? Type it in. It was from a cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid. Chupa. Type in like Chupa. I can't remember what it was from. There. Chupacabra. Means goat sucker nah, in Spanish. But, yeah, but look, if you pull it up with like some mythical uh, creature or some shit. Fucking hell. If fuck? you encounter Chupacabra, I don't think it's a real thing. It could be, to be fair. He, um, was, he was saying though, this, oh, it was a giant sloth. He was yeah. saying giant sloths exist in a certain part of South America. Now I could be getting f certain facts wrong, but it's so, they're so deep into this kind of uh, valley Helicopters can't reach it because it's too tight to get into, and then humans can't get there via land. So the only way is like some really, really intricate way of like flying into it, essentially on a helicopter. But it's fucking sketchy. So like places like that, there must be loads of them across the world. Do you know what I'm saying? So is that yeah, but not like vast land. I, I genuinely think the only place that we think, obviously, you have um, Antarctica. And the south, north of South Pole, like because there's always quite there's quite a lot of conspiracy yeah. about that. But I know the Amazon rainforest it's is is a place that we know so little about because it's too sketchy to go in there. Like it's just that dangerous. There was a really good podcast actually of a guy that went on Joe Rogan, um, and I'd recommend it for people listening to. It. And he um, calls himself, I think it's like a jungle keeper, mm. um, and he would go on these expeditions into the Amazon rainforest and he had caught like the biggest anaconda. We've spoken oh, about yeah, this. Oh yeah, we I spoke swear. about it. Yeah. yeah. It Anyways, he's just talking about it and he's like, you know, knows that there's certain areas you just can't go into. And it's like, like man, can you just imagine how much stuff that we don't know about that lives in an ecosystem like that, like in terms of medicine, herbs, uh, herbal medicines, all this type of stuff. And we think that we've seen the entirety of earth, but there's, there's all, there's pockets of the planet that I would say are maybe like that. Mm. But for the most part, we definitely know everything on land. The, the, the scary bit is what is actually in my opinion, in the, in the water mental. Yeah. And, and, and what could be there. Cause I think there's so much, I mean, the other day, actually someone popped up. This is an old news story, but when they found like that 372 year old, gr uh, green shark, and oh, what? Um, just 300, 372 year old gr I mean, green, green shark? shark or like a Greenland shark. Yes. 400 year old. 400 year old. Shark. Longest living vertebrae. Yeah. I mean, think of bro. This thing was that uh, it was here in like 1642 or something. Like imagine this thing has seen it all. Bro is old. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he, look at him. He looks weathered. He's seen it, man. He's, look, seen, he's, he's seen, been through the Wait, trenches. So he's been swimming around for 400 odd years. Yeah. Nah, this, we need to chat to him. He know he will know stuff. <laughs> he knows Victoria's secret. Exactly, man. He will have been there when like, he's done that. He's lived through the Logan Paul care cycle. He was there when Hitler got done up. He'll know if he's really dead. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what mental. he thinks. To Isn't it mad that brain how, rot. all this time, yeah, he was cutting about the water and there was like two world wars going on. Yeah. Now, does he even know? Maybe, <laughs> no, exactly. maybe that's why he's lived so long because it's just peaceful. Yeah. He's, he's down there and he's there like, oh mate, it sounds like there's a madness going on up there, but <laughs> I can't really be asked checking that out. I'm going to stay down here. Shit. Fuck on hell, man. What does it say about him in this article? Anything interesting? Just out of curiosity. Slow swimmer. <laughs> Bro, listen, 400 just to get called a slow swimmer. <laughs> 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 that is so That's fucking funny. mean, man. <laughs> that <laughs> horrible, horrible bastard. Yeah, like, oh god. But just think about it. Like, this is the one. This is one that we know of, man. I promise you, there's going to be way yeah, older creatures out there. We have. We we ain't even. I swear, we still got like ninety odd percent of the of the ocean to explore. Like, this is why a megalodon does exist. <sighs> I don't know. It's fun to, again, it's fun to think that it does. It's just hard to think that, you know, have we really, have we never really come to across? Be fair, it's not like, you know what? It's, 
it is easy to believe, I reckon, because think about the fucking age of the dinosaurs and that shit was crazy. It was walking around, yeah. right? Massive. Yeah. On land. Units. On land. Yeah. Yeah, the thing did take them out, but it didn't take out all the ocean. Yeah. There still could be so some units the- rocking around deep down that we don't know about. With the dinosaurs, did they, did they get killed by a comet? Yeah. And well, no, like, these are all theories, right? Yeah, yeah but like... No, nah, the crater is like half in the ocean, isn't it? Type in uh, so, so near, so, near Mexico. What killed? You'll see it. The crater is near Mexico, I'm certain of it. Type yeah, in dinosaur every- crater, whatever. Just type in dinosaur crater and it'll come up. I'll tell you the place. Main got the name dinosaur got the creator. Name uh, Go on, spell it right. He's trying... Oh, oh, almost. Almost. Hit. This is it. Oh, it was named. What, go on, Chip. Oh, I don't even know how you say that. What, what do you reckon? Shikulub. Shikulub. Pueblo. Shik-shulub Impact Pueblo. crater. This crate. Um, what were we saying there? A small town close to this point. That, that's that's pretty wild. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the crate was first discovered by scientists working for the Mexican state-owned oil company, Pemex in the 1960s, but it wasn't until 1990 that researchers linked it to the Cretaceous Paleogene Paleogene extinction event. So only I mean. the 1990s went. Oh yeah, this is the one. So did dinosaurs yeah. only exist in Mexico then? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Mexican dinosaurs nah, only, bro. Nah, but like, if it was just one Mate, crater, that's that- just a crater. Think about the fucking blast. Yeah, yeah but it would have fucked up the atmosphere. Yeah, it wouldn't have wiped would out the whole only thing. Mexican the whole dinosaurs. What about the, oh, the, the Russian pe- ones would have been sweet. The Russian ones would have gone well, the mad. World, what, they were the, probably what, drinking. What, type in world map during dinosaur era, like yeah, like, it was it all. Been, it would have been way different, man. Yeah, world map. I think it's called like Pala. Oh, what is it called? I Starts know what you're P. talking about. Uh, come on, show us what we got. Lake. Yeah, Lake, a, a lot of things. Four million years ago. It would have been a lot close, close together. Wasn't yeah, it? everything was just. Squished. God, that's a quick commute to New York from London, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon still, every still year it's just an extra five still. minutes on a plane <laughs> as it got further and further away? That, that genuinely could happen. Like it won't be five minutes. It'll be no. like an extra two minutes. It'd be like an like. inch. But that one, you're Asia. Did you just say an extra two minutes? What? <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. Oh, it shows you what was cutting where. Dinosaurs are sick. No wonder every child is fascinated by them. Yeah, they are. It's just so cool that they existed. You know that whole thing about T Rex sounding like a bird, though? I write that off in my head. What? Are they saying it's like a high. <laughs> high, high yeah. He's a squeaker in the lobby. No, not my fucking book, so. No way. No, he had I to have like a that. growl on it. The Jurassic Park one is, is legit in my head. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not having. I don't want and, to sound and, like and, a fucking and, and, Can I be honest with you? How the fuck are these lot telling me how it sounded? Were you there? Yeah. Exactly. All right, let's just well, that video. Is there a voice got, recording? Party's got a video of how they really sounded. Yeah, you got to put your headphones on. Now, this is going to ruin it. I know this is going to ruin it, by the way. I can just tell. All right, this is the sound of a T Rex. Oh no. It's going to give me the ick. What the fuck? Actually, it sounds quite scary. Oh, that's <laughs> cold. terrifying. Is that is this <laughs> Wait, that's like I mean oh. <laughs> I don't like that, you know. You know what? Oh, uh, all I'm saying is imagine it's is night time and you hear that. I oh, swear no. I'm in, I'm in Even tears. Even there that looks really scary. Yo, if they took a dinosaur film. Alright. What's if that? they took a dinosaur film and used that and tried to go down the horror route, I think that'd low-key bang a little bit. 